Now look what was in the mail today. I got that uh, shipment from Olimex and there should be two ESP8266 dev modules in it. Yep, here we are. Uh, looking at the build quality, the, the quality of the circuit board and the silk screen is really great. And the cool thing about them is they come with two megabytes of I2C flash. Uh, that should store a lot of web content for the Captive Internet web. So without further ado, I'll mount the, uh, the headers and I'll do that upside down uh, so I can uh, read the silk screen when it's plugged into the breadboard. Yep, mm, very nice boards. So to wire them up on the breadboard, it doesn't really take a lot. Um, pin 1 is the 3.3 volt pin, pin 2 is the ground pin. So there's really not much to do and that's already enough to get the module running, uh, provided you got the proper firmware of course. Okay, the other thing is that you mustn't forget, uh, it's always the same, you have to uh, provide a common ground for your serial adapter. So the serial adapter's ground's got to be the same ground as your module. Next thing, transmit data and receive data go to pins uh, 3 and 4. That's also an easy one. If it doesn't work, just, just switch them. Um, that'll be fine. And to get the firmware onto the module, of course, we have to uh, pull GPIO 0 to ground. And the cool thing about this module is um, it's got a, it's got jumpers that uh, that you can use for that, but you don't need to uh, to resolder the jumpers or, or mount switches or anything. Uh, they're protected by 2K resistor, so it's all right to just ground that that pin. It's um, it's pin 21. Don't forget to change the flash size to two megabytes. Flash the firmware. Looking good. So that module should be good to go. I loaded it with the captive intraweb uh, firmware and oh, let's see how it performs. Sorry about the, the image quality. I had to take the other camera because I normally use my, my iPhone to, to record the videos. Hmm. Takes a bit. Right, there we go. Tic-tac-toe. 